last week to a summer's theme. Today we'll be imitating the different beak structures of different birds and seeing how they feed. You will have a lot of materials for this activity, so we'll try to keep it organized. First, for this activity, you will need all of the following. A pair of scissors, a packet of oatmeal, a package of microwave popcorn, two Swedish fish and one gummy worm, a spork, a paper flower, some Play-Doh, a popsicle stick, a sponge, a pipette, some seeds, a pair of chopsticks, a pair of tongs, a pair of tweezers, and two cups that are already labeled for you. For station one, you will need the cup labeled number one, the chopsticks, the gummy worm, and the packet of oatmeal. For station two, you will need the cup labeled number two, the Swedish fish, and the spork. There are 18,000 different bird species. All birds have a beak, but they have evolved differently in each species in order to improve their functions in response to its environment. There are two types of birds, generalists, who use different techniques to obtain food, whose beaks do not have a specific shape, and specialists, whose beaks are adapted for a single function. For example, American crows are generalists. Their beaks are small and they are omnivores, which means they eat nearly anything from small animals to seeds to fruit to worms. Hummingbirds are specialists. Their beaks are long so they can probe deep into flowers to get nectar. <laughs> 